haven't found consistent passing that they're going to be pound the rock. Is that something that you a challenge you feel like you're up for or excited for in any way? No, yeah, we're excited for. It. We know they can run the ball well. You know, they like to do that set, to set up their RPO stuff like that. Uh, get their quarterback the ball. You know, he's a playmaker for sure. But we're excited for the challenge because that he's a real good running back, and their offensive line plays really well. And they like just to get the, uh, their quarterback the ball a lot. So I think we're we're ready for it. Is there a sense that there's probably not going to be a whole lot of surprises in this one? It's the third time you guys have gone up against Spencer Sanders at this point. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we we know what they're, they're, they're they want to do. You know, the key is just to shut down the run game, make them one dimensional, make them throw the ball get them uncomfortable like I think we did last game really well. We got the quarterback uncomfortable and that's just getting a pass rush, you know, controlling the line of scrimmage is the most important thing. Cody, what's the uh, mentality that a defense has to have in order to be really good against the run? Yeah, you know, like what we say, we say mob mentality, you know, we got to have all 11 guys running to the ball. You know, when you turn on the tape, you want to see everybody flying to the ball, playing aggressive. I think, you know, what you saw last week, you know, they're caught little five-yard routes. We punish the ball carriers. I think that's that's the most important thing is just to punish ball carriers. What's the goal? I mean, when, when you count the hats on the screen, is it eight? Yeah. You want to see eight helmets or what? I mean, the goal is to have all 11 guys turn and run the ball. Even the ball's thrown, seeing the D-line pursuit because you never know what's going to happen, you know. There's going to be missed tackles out there. It's going to happen. So just seeing everybody fly to the ball is pretty Pretty fun to watch. That's something that Klanderman's pauses and counts. Or? Yeah, I mean it's something we count for. You know, we count for lows every play, so okay. that's something we watch <laughs> pretty closely. Yeah. Did Reggie Stabilfield add to you guys on both sides? Oh yeah, no, he, he adds a different element. The kid plays really hard. A really exciting player. You know, he gives it all. You know, he's he's very confident in his ability, and we're confident in him coming out there. You know, he's just another piece of the puzzle. <coughs> Miscues you guys made on the reverse pass. Um, what were the miscues? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just got to be more discipline on our backside for sure. They got us a little trick play, but it's just it's something we can control. Just reading our keys better on that. You guys got a lot of pats on the back. Really good play the first three games. If there's one thing you said you wanted this defense to be better at so far. What would it be? Yeah, just eliminating explosive plays. I think. I think we've done really good at the line of scrimmage, controlling, uh, stopping the run game. But we can just eliminate some of those exposed. I mean, he made a couple good throws, really good throws out there. You know, threw a 60 yard bomb on the money, so you got to give him that. But, you know, we just got to limit those big plays. I have a general question for you, Cody. Why do you yep. think this defense is so much improved against it? If I can get any play, have a play. I would probably say just the culture of the defense. You know, our, our mindset this year is a lot different than it was maybe mid to late last season. You know, the guys in this room are. You know, we really take a lot of pride in what we do, and uh, stopping the run is really big for us.